Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth from Smart Stitcher. In this short video, I'm just going to take you through some of the things that I find really helpful and useful when I'm creating my thread art. Let's get into it. Threads, there are loads of different threads out there on the market. Um, you can use ordinary sewing thread, you can use stranded cotton, they come in sort of lots of different shapes and sizes, you can use perlays. Basically anything that you can get through the paper is, is good to use. Um, I tend to quite like a sort of Gutterman sewing thread, um, but then again, you know, I'm easily attracted to all the others as well. A good sharp pair of scissors that you're not going to use on paper that you're going to keep for thread alone. Some tape. I personally don't like using knots on the back. I tend to like to sort of tape things down. I find a thimble is also quite handy to use as well. In terms of needles, the needle that you use has to be appropriate to the size of thread that you're using. So, for example, if I was going to use this perle thread, which is a little bit thicker, I wouldn't be going for something that's a very, very small needle or very fine needle because it wouldn't cope with going through the paper. So the needle that you use has to be appropriate to the thread and you may find that you need to do a little bit of experimentation there. To mark out where we're going to do the design, I have a needle um, in a pin vise that I can use. Um, you don't have to have one of these if you've got um, a little bit of cork, say for example like the top of a sherry bottle. You can put the needle that you're going to be using to, tr to prick out your design into that and use that as a little sort of mini vise to help you prick out your design. Again, any needle that you're inserting into your pin vise has to be able to cope with the thread that you're putting through it. So don't put anything too fine. I tend to use um, an embroidery five needle and if I've got that in my sewing then I also tend to put that in the vise as well to prick everything out. Something else that can be useful is to have a cork block um, that you can then sort of prick through and onto without damaging your table. I tend to also have a cutting mat underneath where I'm working as well for perhaps rather obvious reasons. When it comes to things like paper I find things like copier paper are a little bit too small to um, too small a little bit too fine and will rip very easily so I tend to like sort of quite a heavyweight cartridge paper um, in the UK we're looking at something at 160 GSM and upwards so it's quite sort of thick quite heavy but you can also use craft card and there are sort of thicker types of boards available as well so it's finding something that you're happy to work with but remember you don't want to damage your fingers when you're pushing uh, things you're pushing your needle through your um, particular choice of medium there. So when it comes to drawing out your designs you don't really need much beyond sort of basic drawing equipment and possibly a little bit of basic maths equipment. Uh, rubber, pencil, rulers, I've got sort of different sizes, uh, protractor can also be quite handy and a pair of compasses. So I've got one here with a pencil and that can sort of be moved up and down and around and I've also got another one where it's got a little bit more control and I can sort of set this to quite a fine setting, particularly useful when we start doing things with curves. 